Hi everyone and welcome back to the Braves training series. I'm your host, former Braves pitcher Greg McMichael and today we're joined again by former all-star catcher Johnny Estrada. Hey man. Hey, so we've been working with Johnny on catching and he's taken us through footwork and he's taken us through receiving the ball. So today we're, we're going to work with Johnny on how to use our footwork to throw the ball to the bases. I know we got a lot to do so let's get to it. All right. All right, so today we're going to talk about throwing to second base and then the two ways you can throw to third base. So let's start with our stance. Runners on base, right? So we want to be up a little bit. What do I do with this hand? All right, so the way I was taught, you take your thumb, tuck it in your hand nice and loose, all right? You don't want to make a fist real tight because if you get a foul ball or the ball hits it, you might lose a finger or a knuckle. So you want to be nice and relaxed so if the ball hits it, it doesn't do a lot of damage. So for me, I, I liked it right here. Older I got, I, I like my fingers, so I put it back here just to make sure. So right here or right here, all right? So you're gonna catch the ball. The way I was taught throwing the second base, real simple. I'm gonna draw a circle right underneath my chin. And what I wanna do is I wanna explode from my stance and I wanna take this right foot and put it right there. But I wanna be short enough to where I don't step on the plate. I wanna be behind the plate, or for you taller guys, you'll be out in front of the plate. We don't wanna step on the plate with rubber or metal cleats, cause you'll slip. All right, so it should look just like this. Boom, it's not a jab step, which that would be a jab step, too slow. You gotta explode out of your stance. Right there. I got short legs, so I'm behind the plate. All right, so that's enough with the glove. So for practicing this, I wanna do bare hand, just like I did with my receiving drills. So I'm gonna take a ball, just like that. One more time, just like that. All right, so how do I improve my pop time as a catcher? One, I want to be moving before I catch the ball, if that makes sense. All right? I'm moving before I catch it. Okay? The other thing is just know your pitchers. Know what guys are going to be consistent, which guys you can count on to hit a spot and to get you the ball so you can throw a runner out. All right, so throwing to third base. Two types of ways you can throw to third. You can go behind the batter or you can go in front of the batter wherever the pitch takes you. What we don't want to do is stand straight up and try to throw over the batter because as long as the batter doesn't move, you can't touch him. Now, if he steps out of the box and you make contact with him trying to throw, then he'll get charged with obstruction, but don't rely on that. So wherever the pitch takes you, or if it's inside, come right behind him. Stay away from the catcher interference. That's throwing to third. Bam. All right, Johnny, thank you so much. That was great. We've learned a lot about catching, and hopefully everybody's getting better. But you remember, you have to keep practicing. The only way to get better is to keep practicing. So uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, go to Braves.com. I'm your host, Greg McMichael, and we'll see you next time.